hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the average normal stresses developed in section aa of the turnbuckle and the bolts shanks at b and c are not allowed to exceed 15 ksi and 45 ksi respectively determine the maximum axial force b that can be applied to the turnbuckle each bolt shank has a diameter of 0.5 inch so we are required to find this P force uh, which should be applied in order to have the allowable stress in the section AA 15 KSI and the bolt shank 45 KSI. So this means that the stresses which are allowed in section AA is we can say that section AA stress allowed is 15 KSI and similarly the norm the average normal stress allowed in the bolt must not exceed 45 ksi so we have to find that force p so in order to find that force p what we need to do is that we need to expose this cross section area so that will give us the normal force on that area so let me draw the free body diagram what we will do is that we will pass a cutting section here through this aa and then we will have the normal forces here we will have an AA here and we will have the normal force on section AA and the normal force on section AA so now since we are given that the allowable stress in section AA is 15 KSI so we can say that this Sigma AA allowable is equal to that normal force which is applied on this section AA which is NAA so that will be NAA divided by that cross section area this cross section area which is given here which is 1 times 0 0.25 inches so we can say that area of section AA so from this we can say that NAA is that average allowable stress uh, average normal stress allowable multiply by the area of section AA so from this we can say that NAA is equal to the allowable stress is 15 KSI so 15 KSI is 15 uh, let's say it is or we can say this 15 KSI is 15 into 10 raised to the power 3 pound per inch square multiply by the area of AA so which is 1 inch multiply by 0 0.25 inch now inch square will cancel out with these two inches and we will be left with NAA this will be 15 multiply by 10 raised to power 3 multiply by 1 multiply by 0 0.25 so this gives us 3750 so 3750 pound force and similarly uh, in the bolt shanks for the bolt shanks let's say we must pass a cutting section right this this the portion on which we have the threads is the bolt shank right so what we will do is that we will pass a cutting section here and then we we will be able to see that cross section area here right and then we will have the normal force on the bolt shank so let's say this is my normal force on the bolt shank so we can say that again we have the average normal stress allowed on the bolt shank is 45 ksi which will be equal to and b divided by the area of the bolt shank so now from this we can say that and b the normal force on the bolt shank due to that force p will be equal to this allowable stress multiplied by the area of the bolt so allowable stress on the bolt is given as 45 k size so 45 k is 10 raised to the power 3 pound per inch square multiplied by area of the bolt is pi divided by 4 multiply by this dia square so 0 0.5 square 
and this will be inch square right so inch square will again cancel out and we'll be left with units of pounds so now you guys can see this is 45 into 10 raised to the power 3 multiply by pi divided by 4 multiply by 0 0.5 square so this gives us 8836 we can say 8836 pounds so this will be nb now using these two nbs right so for this section a a and a is 3750 so let's write that this and a is 3750 pounds and this is equal to 3750 pounds and similarly for the allowable average stress for the bold shank is 45 ksi then and b comes out to be 88 36 pounds now we want to find p for both the cases right so if we apply the sum of the force in the x for this free body diagram and the sum of the force in the x for this free body diagram we will be able to find p so if i apply the sum of the forces in the x for section a diagram towards the right is our positive x then we have two times an a a minus p is equal to zero and from this we can say that p is equal to two times an a a and from this we can say that two times an a a is 3750 so two times 3750 is 7500 so p is equal to 7500 pounds uh, similarly for this free body diagram you guys can see that again we can apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x now we can say that n b minus p is equal to zero and p is equal to n b is equal to 8836 pounds now as you guys can see that if we subject that turn buckle mechanism to a force of 8836 what will happen is that the stress in section a a will exceed 15 ksi because for 15 ksi p needs to be 7500 pounds so this means that the limitation is the average normal stress in section a a so so in order to have the allowable stress in section a a less than 15 ksi this p force this p force must be 7500 pounds so this is the answer right if we subject the turnbuckle mechanism to force p of 8836 what will happen is that the average normal stress in uh, average normal stress in section a will exceed 15 ksi so this means that this p force is the limitation so this is that p max so we can say that this is our answer so if someone asks that if the turnbuckle mechanism is is subjected to a p force of 7500 pounds force then what will be the average normal stress in the bolt shank so then we can apply right so again if we consider this free body diagram and if we apply the sum of the forces in the x sum of the forces in the x for this free body diagram let me copy this again so then we will have now we know the p force there so this p force will be 7500 pound force and we will find n b for this p so if we apply the sum of the forces in the x towards the right is our positive x then we can say that plus n b minus p is equal to zero and n b is equal to p which is 7500 pound force now the stress will be the stress in the bold shank will be and b which is 7500 divided by the area of the shank which is pi divided by 4 d square 0 0.5 square so this is we can say that 7500 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 square so this is equal to the average normal stress developed in the bold shank if the turnbuckle mechanism is subjected to 7500 pound force will be 38197 pound per inch square or we can say that this will be 38.19 or 38.2 ksi right this will be 38197 psi and if you divide it by 1000 then we will have 38.2 ksi 
So this is less than 45 KSI, which is the allowable limit for the average normal stress in the bowl shank. So if we apply the turnbuckle mechanism to a force P of 7,500 pound force, then the stress in the section AA will be equal to 15 KSI. But the stress in the bowl shank will be uh, 38.2 KSI. So this means that this P force must be equal to 7,500 pounds or must be less than 7,500 pound force in order to in order to satisfy both of these conditions. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this discussion will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if all this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of uh, problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.